What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nora and thank you so much for watching. So in today's video, I am bringing you guys a woman's gift guide for this holiday season. Uh, I picked out 10 different gifts. Some of them are things that I already own, I already use, and some of them will kind of give you guys a little peek into my wish list. So hopefully you guys find this video super helpful. Again, I know this might not be everyone's cup of tea, but hopefully gives you some ideas uh, to do, you know, some of your shopping this year for your favorite ladies. So be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let's jump right in. <laughs> so for my first item, you guys have definitely seen me wear this uh, a lot on my channel. I've featured it a bunch. I talk about this brand all the time. If you already know what brand I'm gonna mention, Obviously, I can't check to make sure you do, but pause the video, comment down below, and let me know if you knew what brand I'm gonna mention, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna yell pause real quick. Okay, you put it, bet. So I am showing you guys again the Cozy Robe Lounge from Skims. Guys, I love, now I love robes in general. I love robes, I wear them all the time around my home. Um, I was actually gifted this last year and it is probably like one of my favorite gifts that I've received in a really long time. It is really long, like super, super long. Um, I am five, three and a half, so this kind of like grazes the floor a little bit, but it's so soft, it's so cozy. Um, it is on the pricier side, but I'll tell you guys, the quality is phenomenal. I have washed this numerous times again with the color that I have, um, you know, wanna make sure that I kept its integrity and wash it pretty often. Um, I believe it comes, I wanna say it comes on like four or five different colors. There's like a black, a really beautiful chocolate brown. There's this light color, and then I think there's like a, like a, baby pink or something like that. I'm not exactly sure all the colors, but I'll have it linked down below for you guys. I think robes are always a really great gift. And again, if you can get one that's, you know, super good quality, I think this is definitely a really nice one to shop. So all my cozy ladies out there, listen, text him right now, okay? Text your man, text your father, text your uncle, whoever, and let them know this is the one you want. <laughs> All right, and keeping it kind of within the same theme, you know, chilling at home, lounging, cozy things, I wanted to mention these slippers. Now I know. <laughs> this is probably the only time I'll say these are not for aesthetic. They're not like super, super cute, but they are really warm, really cozy. I mean, they have, I don't know if you guys can see, oh, there you go. Like the wool, like fake sheep, sheepskin on the inside. They are really, really warm. And then I also like that they just have this kind of like calfskin bottom. This is from the brand Lemon, as you guys can see. And I actually got these from Anthropology. Um, I really like them too, because I like to, especially in the cold months, like really lather my feet and try to help them not be so dry uh, with having your feet in and out of boots and socks and just the weather and everything, I find that, you know, it can definitely happen during the colder months. So what I like to do is, you know, kind of lather my feet up with soft, um, excuse me, with lotion or whatever I'm using and just wear these around the house. Now, obviously I'm not going to sleep in them, but if it's something I want to do on like, you know, a weekend, Sunday, Saturday, self-care routine, I really like these. And again, not, <laughs> not the cutest thing, but I really like them and they're super comfortable and I think these would make a really great gift. All right, here's another one that I know I mentioned quite a bit, but I wanted to show you guys a high and a low version. Um, I know right now, again, with everyone working from home, being home pretty often, we do kind of want to create just a beautiful ambiance and environment at our home. So the next option that I have are diffusers, and I think these make a wonderful gift. Whether you are someone who's really into home decor, or if you just like the aesthetic, if you really are into essential oils and use them for different reasons, I think diffusers are a great gift. So as always, you guys know this is my tried and true, my favorite. Some of you even know I cracked it on the side, so I did just order a new one. I know, sick, because it's it's a $100 diffuser. But my Vitruvi diffuser, you guys know, I love this. I think it's beautiful, it's stunning. Love the aesthetic of it, and I mean, it does a great job. Uh, it diffuses for up to seven hours, and I just think, I mean, it's beautiful. It is absolutely stunning. This comes in three other colors, black, 
Uh, this is like the stone color. There's like a really nice uh, terracotta color. And then it does come in a blush pink. So love this one. And then I wanted to at least show you guys this other option, which was from Amazon. Super affordable. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think this was no more than 20 bucks. But love the aesthetic of this as, as well. Uh, you guys know I love kind of like that earthy tone. So thought this was beautiful. This one does go up to a six hour time limit. But again, really love these. And I think... I mean, really nice addition to kind of spruce up any environment. So diffusers, definitely a good one. All right, so this next gift might be a little bit tough for some because I do think it's a little bit more personal, uh, but skincare. I think skincare is a great gift and I know a lot of women love to at least take care of their skin, make sure they're looking glowy, healthy. Uh, and I think it's something that we do kind of like to pamper ourselves. So what I usually say around skincare, uh, you know, for some of our high-end lovers, people who don't really know what to get, I tend to make like little baskets. So go to, you know, like a dollar store, a five below, a dollar tree, a dollar general, get a super cute little basket, even Ikea, something really affordable. And I tend to go to, you know, like a Sephora, an Ulta, a Target, and always love to check kind of like their mini travel section and build a really nice basket. That way you're not really breaking the bank on anything. You're not like spending $150 on, you know, a moisturizer that might break the person out. You know, at least starting with some smaller, you know, size products, you can diversify a little bit of what you're putting in the basket and not break the bank. And it's a really nice gift because it just kind of gives, I don't know, it just makes someone feel really good when you've got a basket full with a lot of things. So I think skincare is always a really great option. Uh, I tend to do, you know, face mask, sheet mask, eye mask, even if you get like foot mask, I know a lot of people love those. Lip balm, moisturizers, you know, little CC creams. I think those always make a really great gift and something again, that's pretty affordable and I mean, easy to build and put together. So skincare guys, people forget about that all the time, but I think skincare is definitely a great gift for the lucky lady in your life. <laughs> and now for some of my more, I guess you could say tech-ish, I don't know if you'd really call this tech, but um, my ring light. Guys, I love, love the ring light and I think it's a great gift for just about any leading lady in your life. Whether you are shooting content, you know, whether she just loves to take pictures in general, uh, you know, I have a lot of family members who like to just entertain at home and create their own little photo booths. I think the ring light is such a great gift. Um, on Amazon, I'll link the one that I have in particular, but there are a lot of different options, you know, different price ranges depending on what you're willing to kind of spend your money on. But the ring light is cool. I mean, it's a fun gift. They even now make little ring lights that actually attach onto your phone. So that's another really great option. Option, but I just think the ring light in general uh, is something that's a lot more popular than people think and uh, you get a lot of use out of it you know if you just love playing in makeup if you love photography um, I think it is a great gadget to have and definitely one most of your girls will want and keeping it along with kind of my tech options uh, I did mention this in a previous Amazon favorites video but I wanted to mention it again uh, kind of around you know some of my other gadgets and devices so my Apple watch and then my airpods as well and actually I would have showed it to you guys right now but I think it fell in my purse literally as I'm filming this I think I just realized where it is but nevertheless I digress um, accessories for your devices I think make a phenomenal gift so you know kind of as I was mentioning you know with my wristband wanting to upgrade that and get something a little bit more chic a little bit more feminine um, Apple themselves makes a lot of different wristbands and Etsy you can find some really cool ones um, I think I watched a different uh, gift guide a girl mentioned like a Louis Vuitton dupe one um, I mean there are so many different options and then obviously with your your AirPods as well. Tons of cases, beautiful cases that you can get personalized. And I think, you know, once you've already made that investment in, you know, the tech pieces, obviously, if you want to go ahead and buy an Apple Watch AirPods, great as well. But, you know, for a lot of people, if they have it already, just little gifts that show that you were thinking about them, you can personalize them and just little nice gadgets that you could always get to feel like you're kind of upgrading, you know, your different uh, tech devices as well. So I think any type of tech accessories are always really great gifts as well. All right, and for my next gift option, I wanted to mention coffee table books. Um, I think this is something that, at least for you know my generation, we are definitely starting to jump into more. A lot of us are moving into our own spaces, moving into your own home, uh, or even if you're still just at home and want to decorate, I think coffee table books make a great gift. Uh, you can you know kind of keep it a little bit more personal with the books that you get, or even if it's just something a little bit more aesthetic, if you've been to their place, you know what she's into, I think coffee tables make 
a phenomenal gift, especially, you know, again, my, my home lovers, people that love home decor and really just creating, you know, beautiful little areas in their home. I think a coffee table book is a great option. So I wanted to show you guys one of my favorite coffee books that I own. Um, I don't know if this exact version is still available because I know she had a couple different options, but uh, it is my Rihanna coffee table book. Now, this is nice. <laughs> Look at me, I can't even talk. Guys, this thing is massive, child. This is massive. Now, I'm not saying everyone go out and buy this one because I will be honest, it's expensive, child. Okay, she is pricey. I'm not even going to tell you guys how much this costs. I'll have it linked down below if you wanna just click it and see, but it's pricey. So I just wanted to show you guys as an example of what I mean by coffee table book because I know sometimes people are like, girl, you just mean like put books on the table? No, no, no. There are actual books that kind of just demonstrate, you you know, like really beautiful photography and, you know, imagery, um, I think always makes for a great addition. So obviously this one in particular features really great images of Rihanna, her life. Um, I do have a Tom Ford one scattered somewhere through here that kind of focuses on the Tom Ford photography. Uh, on my coffee table here, I actually also keep my aunt's coffee table book, which is the non-mixologist mixologist. I'll be sure to have that link down below for you guys as well. So coffee table books I think are great. You know, just kind of think of what she's into. Is it fashion? Is it photography? Is, is it, you know, home decor? And Design, like the non-mixologist mixologist does she love to entertain does she love to make you know beautiful handcrafted cocktails there is a coffee table for everyone um, Amazon really great place to find them home goods home sense TJ Maxx um, I mean honestly just about anywhere Target you know there are a ton of different places where you can find a coffee table book uh, this one just happens to be one of my favorites my aunt is also you know, a publisher of my favorite one as well, but love the coffee table book. And I think that one is a really good gift idea. Now for my last three uh, gift options, there are actually three things on my wish list. So I don't have them just yet. I've tested out a couple of them. Um, one of them I'm like upgrading. So things that I thought I definitely wanted to mention. So the first being the always pan from our place, you guys. So let me just say, it was actually on sale for Black Friday, but they played us. It comes in six or seven different colors, and the color that I wanted wasn't the one on sale. So it is a pan, literally. It's called the Always Pan, and it's from a brand called Our Place. And it is supposed to be this pan, like a revolutionary pan, that almost can replace eight other pots and pans you would have in your home. It's like an eight-in-one type of thing. Now, my cousin Felicity actually owns this pan, and let me tell y'all, you guys know, I'm not a cook, I'm not a chef. This pan is like dummy proof. I mean, it is just so easy to use, it's non-stick. Everything just like glistens and slides through. I'm telling y'all, I'm like in love with this pan. It makes me want to cook so much. Again, it is pricey. Um, I think it retails for like $145. Um, it was on sale on Black Friday for like $85. So I would say keep an eye out and see, you know, if it maybe goes back on sale a little bit closer to the uh, like Christmas holiday. Um, I do know sometimes if you Google, you can find some coupon codes. But um, I think again, you know, for the one that loves to cook, the home lover, some have just moved i think this makes a really great gift really good investment uh definitely one that is on my wish list <laughs> next up is the dyson vacuum honestly any vacuum from dyson i think is phenomenal um i actually had a dyson v don't quote me on this i think it was a dyson v6 that i had um had it for a really really long time honestly i kind of beat it up over the time and over the years and didn't really take the best care of it. So my lovely brothers, cause I've already kind of, you know, put the bug in their ear are going to be hopefully, fingers crossed, upgrading me to the Dyson V11 uh, vacuum. Now Dyson does have a lot of different vacuums. Um, I kind of gravitated to this model in particular, uh, just because one, I've had, you know, an older version of it before. Um, I love the aesthetic of it. It is super chic, lightweight. I do like that it is a cordless vacuum, so super easy to use. Uh, you can kind of just set it up wherever you maybe keep any of your other cleaning supplies and it can charge right there in its base. Um, I do love the fact that the top part also detaches 
lashes and it comes with a lot of different you know other attachments that you can put on the end and use it um, I love using it on my couch um, obviously vacuuming my room um, this vacuum is really good for me because I don't have a lot of carpet in my home um, I do vacuum you know often um, I can use it on the hardwood as well but it's not anything super heavy duty um, would I recommend this vacuum for someone who's like doing heavy duty vacuuming all the time you've got animals bunch of kids running around a ton of carpet big home probably not I would go for a traditional you know Dyson vacuum shark vacuum but specifically this Dyson V11 I think is beautiful and if you've kind of got like a mixtured type of space as mine hardwood and carpet great investment so ladies ask Santa <laughs> All right, and last but not least, uh, on my wish list, I guess you could say to round out gift ideas. I haven't purchased it just yet, but I have had the chance to experience it. Uh, but it is the Ember Mug. Uh, now, for those of you who don't know what this is, as you obviously can hear by the name, it is a mug that comes with a really cool like little like saucer tray that helps keep the temperature of your coffee, tea, beverage hot. So I don't necessarily drink hot coffee. I am a, I'm like an iced coffee girl all day, but I do drink a lot of tea. And you know, with working from home, getting caught up in different things, or you know, even on the weekends, I'm sure we can all attest to, you know, making a cup of coffee, some tea, hot lemon water, ripping and running, ripping and running, and then you come back and you pick it up and you take a sip and it's cold and it's lukewarm, disgusting, disrespectful, I don't like it. So this Ember mug, actually one of my friends when I went over to her home had a couple of them so we were able to use it, helps keep the temperature of your beverage. The mug itself even too almost kind of works like a Yeti where it does maintain the integrity and the temperature of the beverage, but then that little tray if you did even for whatever reason think you were gonna drink it longer than three, four, five hours, would still maintain it and I think it's really great. Um, Ember overall, they have like a whole collection of you know different um, kind of containers and vessels that you can put beverages in. I know they have like the travel mug, they do have like the little travel bottle, similar to a Yeti, but I really like and prefer the aesthetic of Ember um, and I just like how chic it is and kind of you know the products I feel like is definitely my vibe. So the Ember mug, again, mom, dad, if you're watching, Thank you. <laughs> and that is it, you guys, for my 2020 Woman's Gift Guide. If you have any other ideas, any other suggestions, please, as always, don't be stingy. Share them down below. I love when we can, you know, kind of go back and forth and create an open dialogue. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow for my Men's Gift Guide. <laughs> love you guys. Bye. From the love in the room, from the floor to the ceiling It's that time of year Christmas time is here And with the blessings from above